welcome to Walkdown. We'll start with a morbid one. You ever watch Dexter? I mean, six feet under. Before Dexter became a psychopath, he used to actually work in a funeral. And that makes me think I need a recession-proof job. I know YouTube is, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a good job and I enjoy it and it's only a little bit dangerous. But being an undertaker, people are always going to die. And the worse society gets, the better your business gets. Ka-ching! And the shekels. Right, today we're going to do something different. Um, I got an Uber home. I've been riding the bus less and less. I've been riding the Uber more. Um, yeah, it costs more. But you, uh, you pay a price, a psychic and a physical price, riding the bus in uh, Greater Manchester. Oh, my Lord. So, in the Uber, we passed a council estate. You know, I, I've, I've lived in some pretty hairy places, like Walkden, like where we are now, pretty fucking hairy. And uh, I was fucking scared in this council estate driving through. I told the Uber driver, I said, you drive a little bit faster out here, I'll give you a tip. Just get me away from here. Oh. We're going to go be brave. This is uh, Charlie Veach explores the stabby and shooty council estate just off Walkden. Uh, the shorts today, got my little chicken legs out. Baka! bit ambitious it's about 14 degrees celsius but you know you gotta you gotta you gotta you gotta have your will and representation you gotta wear the shorts in the hope that it'll make the sun come out past this sign on my drag walked in hot tub hire it's quite self-explanatory now i just keep thinking like how many previous clients bodily fluids will you have to scrape off the rims how many failed attempts of taking her up the rear entrance without any cleanly I'll just stop because it's gonna get demonetized noticed a good typo let me see if I can zoom in see if you guys can enjoy it too open Monday to Fridia you guys gonna call Pete Pete for your plumbing hey our adventure begins we're here at the largest Tesco in Great Britain the Tesco extra at fucking Walkden and we're here on Cecil Cecil cease and desist we're on Cecil Street to go and uh relive my uh, adrenaline rushed dopamine rushed endorphin rushed terror coming through this uh, council estate in the back of an uber now uh yeah i'm gonna try and capture it guys um, i hope you guys feel the fear as much as i did and uh i've brought some uh <laughs> some uh, painkillers <laughs> for afterwards because i just know i'm gonna be stressed oh shit i'm scared already completely random but the wheels on this new hyundai tucson n-line but yeah, it tickles me. I like that. Fucking snowflakes, but good snowflakes. No, I'm going to get chased away by some fucking bat-wielding, angry working class people who don't quite see kindly. Someone shooting a YouTube video with a phone. Not even a real camera, a phone. One of the more triggering aspects of what I do. I've noticed my colleagues, uh, Fritz, uh, Ryan, when they're out with their professional DSLR cameras, big telephoto lens, People are like, fair enough, he's capturing some good photons. Someone turns up with four hands holding a little phone. Oh, they get angry. But then it makes what you guys want to watch. It creates the drama. Okay, up ahead. Um, if anyone is from Walkden, have you heard of a stabbing pub? Sorry, a shooting pub. Oh, sorry, a, a fighting pub called the, the Brinkley or the Brindley Arms. I think it's abandoned. We'll go and have a look. One thing you can do in these uh, scary areas is do your boarded up window watch. That's the first one. Yeah, look at this. Go on. We're not even at the fighting part. Oh, there, there it is. I recognize this is a Sim City unit that they drop into deprived areas. It's like some sort of weird commercial fucking residential thing up above. A bunch of angry, angry teenagers to my left. So I'm gonna pretend because I just can't be fucked arguing with underage people you know it's a uh, considered um politically incorrect to uh slap uh 14 year old boys hard across the face though if you had to you had to but it's uh, less challenging uh, socially to do it with grown-ups who's beeping at me love it oh let's just make a phone call it's gonna be fine this thing hello i'm looking for john connor Leave things better than how you found them. All right, boarded up window watch number two. You got, there you go. Boom, why is it zoomed in that far? Fuck, 
Ah, there you go. Off by the bush. Oh, I've said that on many a dark night back in the, the two, early 2000s. <gasps> Brindley Arms. Fucking hell. I'd have loved to have come for a nice, quiet uh, lager shandy with my friends back in the, the heyday. Yeah. It's, uh, I'm not going to stick around too long. I don't want to attract attention to myself. My civility will start to show and the, the evil hordes will come and hoard me. The Brindley Arms, what's on? Oh yeah. Can you imagine guys, Friday, it's family night. Can you imagine bringing your little kids to the, the shooting pub? Why not? Look at it. Look at it, looking good. Police staring at me and I just missed them. Damn it, why didn't they stop and interact with me? Maybe it's just as well. The police van, they're, they're looking for someone. I think I found a nice vantage point here at the uh, at the Stabby pub. Let's see, will he meet up with the other van coming from the other way? Should do. Nice uh, St. George's flag. <sighs> Let's have a challenge. That's the inside of the, the Brindley Arms. This is a little pig plushie. As you can see, the pig plushie has got maybe a centimeter's give other side. Let's have some fun. Let me just get my get my brain on. Let's have some fun. Okay, let's go wide wide angle. Piggy, piggy, what are you doing? Here they come. Oh, that was so close, guys. Did you see it? Now you go in the top window. Oh, piggy. Oinky. In times of crisis, economic, political, um, it's, you know, spiritual crisis, young men start drawing very large fertility symbols. In fact, in Japan, they have a whole festival about the fertility symbol. And whatever, young men experimenting with their, uh, um, yeah. <laughs> Let's have a look at the back of this pub. Am I going to get stabbed? Probably still going to get stabbed or at least exotically whipped. Yeah, love it. Hey, okay, we'll, we'll walk down a bit. Ooh, that's someone's engine's fucked. No MOT for you, sir. I'm impressed with the horror of this pub. It's like a, a Toby Carvery if uh, the thing being carved was each fucking customer that walked in. Now, I just want to go a bit deeper into Savageville, see if we can find anything fun. Kid, a boy about 12 years old in a black Adidas tracksuit. He goes, are you Charles Veach? I said, yes, I am. And he goes, my brother watches you on TV all the time. I said, thank you very much. Tell your brother I say hi. So, brother, fan of mine, good person with good taste. I hope you know, I'm not here to mock the area. I'm not here to, you know, insult anyone personally. I'm here to uh, insult the entire planet and myself at the same time. So just a bit of drama. Don't take it personally. And thank you for watching. Thoughts guys, I've just passed like, you know, we're in quite a poor council estate here, poor area, poor fucking area. And there's a couple of cars down there. Like there's an 100,000 pound three-year-old Audi RS7 with a personalized license plate. And I just want to film it and do a whole rant about how it's a fucking drug dealer's car and there must be a fucking idiot that doesn't think to blend in like fucking Hector and Pollo fucking Hermanos and, you know, you gotta blend in. But angry, overweight, retarded, big angry woman across the road staring at me. And I just know, she's like fucking ready to Karen up. Ready to put on that Karen fucking speak to the manager fucking energy. As soon as I get the camera out, she's like, what are you filming? And I'm not in the mood today. I, I, mean, I, I amped. Amped. I'm not. Hey, of note, if you look to your right, coming up, some guy. He's, uh, looks like a double council house. And check out on the right. I'll film straight ahead on wide angle. Don't want to upset the Karens. Check out the giant air conditioning units 
in the cages he has, just coming out of shot on the far right. There. And I was looking on my way past, and again, the guy's wife just staring at me, ready with those arms crossed and those furrowed eyebrows, ready to have a fucking go. Made it out, made it out, but if looks could kill, I'd have died more times than Crutchy. Back there. <laughs>